Morgan and I'm here at Nathan Phillips Square in Toronto, Canada. It's that time of year when the temperatures are dropping, the city is getting decorated and families are preparing for some upcoming celebrations. Which can only mean one thing, it's the holiday season in the city. To give you an idea of what the city has to offer this time of year, I'm breaking down the top five things to do in Toronto for the holidays. Number five, check out the Santa Claus Parade. Started in 1905 by the Eaton's Department Store, the Toronto Santa Claus Parade is the oldest running parade in the world. It's also one of the largest, spanning almost six kilometers in length, with 25 animated floats of various themes and more than 2,000 costumed volunteers. It happens the second Sunday of every November, and if you're lucky, you might just get a sneak peek of the man himself. Number four, take a peek at the Hudson's Bay Christmas windows. Every year, the Hudson's Bay transforms their Queen Street location windows into miniature holiday tableaus. From all over the city, people crowd around the six window displays to get a glimpse of the intricate and detailed works of art. There's a different theme each year, but visitors are always guaranteed a spectacular display. Number three, get your holiday shopping done at the one of a kind Christmas show. Looking to get that perfect gift for someone special? Then check out the one of a kind Christmas show, a semi-annual event that runs for 11 days at the beginning of December. Guests can attend designer DIY seminars, watch fashion shows, and browse through 800 artisans selling all kinds of handmade goods, from home decor to body care, jewelry, and more. At the One of a Kind Christmas Show, you'll get unique gifts that you can't find at your run-of-the-mill shopping mall. Number two, grab your skates and head over to Nathan Phillips Square. There are many spots around the city where you can ice skate for free, but the rink at Nathan Phillips Square is by far the most popular choice. With the backdrop of City Hall and easy access from Queen Street, ice veterans and newbies alike share the space from sunrise to 10 p.m. daily. Sometimes there are even impromptu games of shinny that break out after the lights go down. And the number one thing to do in Toronto for the holidays? Step back in time at the Lowe's Toronto Christmas Market. Put on your toucan mitts, grab a glass of mulled wine, and enjoy the Christmas market in the distillery district. Modeled after the markets made famous in Germany, visitors can enjoy the sights, sounds, and tastes of the holidays in a historical setting. Live musical performances grace the main stage. Unique craftspeople sell one-of-a-kind goods, and bars and restaurants transform into outdoor beer gardens where you can cozy up with a glass of mulled wine or spiced rum beverages beside a wood-burning fire pit. So there you have it, the top five things to do in Toronto for the holidays. Now, if those don't get you into the holiday spirit, I don't know what will. Well, that's all the time that I have. Thank you for watching. Now I gotta go practice my double axle.